So hello and welcome to a Filmixologist, the place on the internet thingy where the de-junkification continues. Case in point, I've got this two lovely little Zenith VN2 units um, that I uh, finally curated or hoarded uh, over the summer months and now it's the time really that I should start making um, a room in my workshop for other projects and get rid of a lot of trash so therefore um, now it's the turn of these units uh, to get done now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you in a bit what we're, what we're working with but this is gonna be one of those builds where uh, due to the nature of some of the missing parts and whatnot it's gonna be a uh, you know get two junk cards get one functioning that kind of deal uh, but I think it will, it will be quite, quite a good project and we might get a fair few you know parts out of uh, out of another carb either to put in storage or to sell uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet but certainly one of these units is gonna have to become completely functional again so I'll show you around and I, and I, and I give you a little sneak peek uh, what we're working with. Okay, as you can see both of them both of these are VN2s They are mostly complete um, I think they're 33 uh, diameter um, um, Bore so they are slightly bigger than carbs we've been working so far um, They've got kind of accelerator bumps here and obviously they um, we've got this choke that obviously this should ride on top of here so this is not exactly this is a bit goofy at the moment we need to we need to sort it out so because of this issue unless i can find this np somewhere uh, i think we're gonna be um we're gonna be just building the one unit uh, on this particular on this particular occasion which is okay i mean we get one functioning one uh it's the classic that, 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 that we've seen in this kind of series uh, that there is yeah I can see a little bit of play there on the shafts oh, what a lot of play in the shafts so it's a classic I think I think maybe the shafts had gone a bit bad and therefore uh, these units were parked so what we need to do now is we need to <coughs> Uh, tear them apart completely clean all the parts uh, chase some spares and see what we what we need to do with this um, with this with this bit here for the for the throttle shaft see see in what condition it is um, or not is uh, but these are actually quite, quite neat little carbs um, so let's see what's the what's the condition of these carbs inside the units Okay, so here I need to show you what I'm going to do with this uh, kind of shaft that I'm going to install in all the kind of VN carbs. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing, um, maybe not this one, but screws that are slightly lower profile than the standard screws. You can see this is the other ones that came with this carb. And these are kind of essentially Weber, but basically Italian Weber carb screws. And obviously they 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 fit and what what I'm what I'm trying to achieve here is I want to achieve a much lower profile 
and size of the screw which is going to create less of a restriction for airflow so that's what i'm trying to achieve by putting this smaller screw in here it's going to give it up a little bit of an edge at kind of high rpms um, so that should be good Okay, so I have some of these units um, kind of pre-gamed uh, in terms of the assembly. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because um, out of this ones, really only one of them is going to be kind of a full builder. Uh, and I explain why obviously because I've got only kind of one set of parts. But, I, but I'll tell you a bit more about it in a second. So I'll show you how the units are pre-gamed. Okay, so so well, what I mean by pre-gamed is that I've got obviously the the, the throttle shaft that, that that you can see there. Um, how I kind of set it up. Obviously, it's got my you know shaft uh, repair, and I've got uh, you know the metering block, the accelerator pump um, plunger there and I've got the nice float which has to be pointed up and the um, accelerator pump squirter here so these are so these are how this this one and this one are set up which are kind of exactly the same and they've got obviously the same the same parts here and here so you've got there they're exactly the same and these are the ones that I've got you know parts four so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna kind of build one of these uh then see you know how long does it sell if you put it on sale and once one sales i'll i'll buy maybe another kit just slam the key on and and be ready to just you know assemble the other one however this one this one what happened is that this one came without a fuel bowl uh, and you can see and this is a this is a different one this is a VN and these are VN 2s so it's a slightly different model so what I'm going to do with this straight away is I've obviously I've done I've done the shaft uh, repair there you go um, mint with my uh, with my kind of with my o-ring system there so <clears throat> so this is but what i'm going to do with this one is this is going to be uh sold as a partly rebuilt 
carburetor. So basically it has a, a shaft uh, repair. Um, all the obviously all the body has been cleaned. So this is this would be good for a customer that, for example, has uh, they wanna uh, they they have a carb that has a dodgy shaft that that is leaking vacuum um, and it's a bit dirty and but they have the fuel bowl that is okay and maybe just kind of swap some parts over and it'd be mint. So this this is what 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 this is gonna. But this what's going to happen to that one now and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm doing a bit of uh, you know experimentation on on kind of the commercial side of, of, of selling these carbs and try, trying to see you know what works what works what, what people buy not buy so so some of it I am I'm gonna be building these carbs now uh, up to a certain extent uh, see how they um, how they sell and then if they sell well I can then you know I, I or source some more or or see what I do basically but it's just this kind of experimentation phase okay I think I've got this unit dialed in you know pretty minty um, so I'll show you I'll show you a bit closer what I've done uh, on this too. So this first unit here is the one that is uh, complete. Obviously, it's got a brand new um, idle mixture screw, um, all of the um, the accelerator pump is installed properly, and obviously the choke. You can see it there, uh, like so. There you go. Good. So, so actually this is a, a complete ready to bolt on on a car Zenith uh, VN2 and this one, uh, this one is, although it's not the uh, the builder at the moment uh, because obviously I need all the all the all the gaskets and whatnot however this one uh, I reckon it would probably take me about 15 minutes to build it um, so first we're going to try selling this and if that sells relatively efficiently, I'll, I'll just get the kit in a couple of days. It'll be here, and then um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll build it in ten minutes, and and there you go. It goes it goes back on sale. So obviously, if you if you uh, uh, if you're interested in buying any of these things, just you know, drop me drop me a line on the comments, or you know, contact me. That's okay. Uh, but I hope you got kind of something something out of this um, one of the things that I always say in all my videos very important to have either manuals or the very least an exploded view so that you can ascertain how these things kind of go back together this is so important seriously important guys so I hope you got something out of it found this helpful and what I'll do is I'll see you in the next episode